Hey everybody, it's Ben here. People sometimes ask me, how much does it cost to charge an electric car? So today we're gonna run the numbers and find out, but spoiler alert, it's cheap. So before we can even talk about the cost of charging an electric car, we need to know a little bit of terminology. Uh, the main word is kilowatt hours. A kilowatt hour is a unit of electrical energy, and you're probably already familiar with it because that's the unit you're gonna see on your electric bill. It's how much you're going to pay for that certain amount of power every month. A kilowatt hour would be using electricity at the rate of 1,000 watts for one hour, or maybe uh, running a 100 watt light bulb for 10 hours, or a 10 watt light bulb for 100 hours, it's the same amount of total energy whether you're using it quickly or more slowly. Now, of course, we want to use things as efficiently as we can, but we have to keep in mind it's that total units of energy that we're spending our money on. Electric car battery capacities are also rated in kilowatt hours. On the low end, it might be something like 16 kilowatt hours for just a, a very basic little commuter car, up to on the high end, 100 kilowatt hours for, let's say, a luxury electric SUV. Okay, so let's run some numbers. As a general rule of thumb, a lot of electric cars will go about four miles per kilowatt hour of electricity. And if we take a look at national averages, uh, a kilowatt hour of electricity costs about 13 cents. Now it might be a little bit more or a little bit less depending on where you live, but uh, in the United States, national average is about 13 cents and that's actually about what it is at my house. Yay, I'm average. So if we just take our pocket calculator here, we divide our 13 cents by four miles per kilowatt hour, three and one quarter cents per mile. So we know how much it costs to operate a car per mile. Uh, we also know how much electricity costs and how big our battery is. So let's just say uh, we have that economy car. We have a 16 kilowatt hour uh, little electric commuter and the battery is totally drained. It needs to be completely filled back up. We can multiply 16 kilowatt hours times the cost of 13 cents per kilowatt hour and we get $2.08. So it's gonna cost about two bucks to completely fill the tank of that particular vehicle. And that'll give about a 60 mile range. Now, what if I had that vehicle with a great big battery pack, that 100 kilowatt hour battery pack times 13 cents per kilowatt hour equals $13. Well, that's a lot more, but it's still a lot less than even a tank of gas in a Prius at the gas station, which also makes me wonder then, and keep in mind, that is driving for about a week in a luxury electric SUV. Um, but what if we wanted to compare the price of gasoline versus electricity? We actually can do that, and that's how the numbers are figured out for miles per gallon equivalent. Uh, most electric cars get the equivalent of over 100 miles per gallon, uh, but it's, it's kind of hard to do a fair comparison in terms of, of the price. What would it cost for a gallon of electricity? We can actually figure that out if we just uh, try to compare some, some cars running on gas versus electricity. Uh, right now in the United States, the average passenger car gets 25 miles per gallon. But let's, let's round that up. Let's say 30. You're above average. You're driving a little bit better uh, than average fuel economy car. So if we can go 30 miles on one gallon of gasoline, all we need to do is figure out, okay, well, what would it take to go the same distance in an electric car? So typically, uh, we would need about seven and a half kilowatt hours to go that same distance. And if we multiply that seven and a half kilowatt hours times 13 cents per kilowatt hour, we get 97 and a half cents, or basically a dollar per gallon equivalent. So when it comes down to it, electricity costs a buck per gallon. How do you beat that? Um, it really is just a great way to go when you're just purely looking at the costs. Now, of course, we're using averages. Things may be higher or lower uh, in your area. Another really cool thing about using electricity as a motor fuel is that most power utilities offer some form of a time of use program. The way time of use works is you pay a different price for electricity during part of the day than the other part of the day. It's typically divided up between uh, on-peak and off-peak times, with 
on peak typically being during the day and off peak being nights and weekends. Now this actually works out really well for electric vehicle drivers because most of us are charging our electric cars at night anyways. In fact, almost every single electric car has some sort of a timer feature built right in. So you can plug in your car right when you get home from work, but it doesn't actually start charging until sometime later. You could set it to uh, 10 o'clock or midnight, whatever you'd like it to be. And typically these time of use plans, you pay more for electricity during the day when most of us are out of the house off at some job or something anyways. But then at night when we would want to charge the electric car, uh, it's much less expensive electricity, sometimes half as expensive. And that means we can essentially charge our cars using 50 cents per gallon of electricity. Uh, that's really tough to beat. I mean, imagine if you could go to the gas station and during the day you had to pay four bucks per gallon, but at night you only had to pay two bucks per gallon. It just doesn't work that way, but with electricity, it can. The other cool thing about electricity as a motor fuel is that you can make it yourself. Uh, now, I do actually have a friend who makes his own ethanol, and I do know of people who've made their own biodiesel for diesel cars. But frankly, if you just set up some solar panels, it is so ridiculously easy. As long as the sun shines, you're making power. You don't have to get all greasy. You don't have to deal with fermentation or anything crazy like that. Uh, it's really a great way to be able to make your own motor fuel. Uh, the best part about solar is that once you've paid for that, uh, that original capital outlay, of paying for the equipment, all your electricity is free. So for example, at my place, um, we're on track for a six and a half year simple economic return on investment. So after six and a half years from the initial install of the solar panels, they will have paid for themselves in how much electricity cost I have saved. And all my electricity after that, it is legitimately free and you just cannot beat that. So what's it actually going to cost for you to charge your own electric car? Well, there's a few variables there and we've made a few assumptions here as well. Um, so take a look at what the cost of electricity is in your area. And of course also uh, which car you're driving, how big the battery pack is on it, uh, your driving style, even the weather. Uh, in the winter, you're gonna be running heat. An electric vehicle is gonna be a little less efficient and it's gonna cost you a little bit more to operate, but still a lot less than a gasoline powered vehicle. If you like these videos, and I hope you do, please uh, like, comment, share, subscribe. Uh, check us out over at 300mpg.org for uh, the matching blog articles that we always make to go with the videos. Uh, lastly, we're also now on Patreon. It's new for us, uh, but it really takes a lot of time and effort to, to make all these various videos, and I want to get back into uh, a few major electric vehicle hands-on projects as well. So your support through Patreon is very welcome and very much appreciated. So until next time, stay charged up.